Welcome to Entrepreneur Recap. Get ready for goosebumps as we bring you the most thrilling and inspiring films about entrepreneurs. Today's feature film is The Social Network, a drama and biography film released in 2010 that tells the story about how Mark Zuckerberg revolutionized the world of social media. Big spoilers ahead. It's the year 2003 and Mark Zuckerberg is a student at Harvard University. He's out at a bar with his girlfriend Erica Albright. Mark is rizzing her up by saying he got a perfect score on the SAT test. As they're speaking, Erica mentions that Mark frequently talks about finals clubs. She then asks him which one would be the easiest to get accepted into. Mark becomes offended and feels disrespected by the question. He then goes on savage mode and then starts saying she slept with the door guy. Fun fact, it should be noted that Mark Zuckerberg has stated that the final club obsession was not true. He then proceeds to cook her and the fight continues as she breaks up with him and leaves the bar. Feeling brokenhearted, Mark is sad and walks back to his dorm. He does what any other college student would do and gets drunk while blogging about his recent breakup on his computer. Mark calls Erica a female dog and then says that her body is mid. He then gets more drunk and thinks about an idea to work on. Kinda like Rick from Rick and Morty. Mark finally has an idea and it's a website called Face Smash. The concept is a comparison game where users can compare two pictures of girls and vote on who's hotter. He starts to develop the website by running Python scripts for data scraping and hacking into the Facebook accounts of seven different Harvard networks. Mark's able to download the images and upload them to the website. As Mark works on his website, the Phoenix Club, one of the top frats on campus, is hosting their first party of the year. In this scenario, Mark's best friend Eduardo Severin visits Mark after learning about his recent breakup. Damn, what a real one. Mark shares his website idea with Eduardo and requests his help with an algorithm. Eduardo writes the algorithm on their dorm window and starts to help Mark with creating the website. Mark begins to promote the idea by sending an email list to other students in an effort to draw attention to it. The website is a banger and everyone around campus is using it. Erica discovers Mark's previous blog and becomes upset upon reading his comments about her, which led to her being mocked. She becomes emotional and starts crying. The website Face Mash becomes popular and causes issues with Harvard's network. Six years later in 2009, Eduardo Severin files a lawsuit against Mark Zuckerberg. Mark is visibly annoyed by this and does not seem to care. During a legal meeting, Mark argues with Eduardo's lawyer, accusing the source of lying under oath. Marilyn, a junior lawyer present in the meeting, expresses surprise when Mark mentions that the website had 2,200 views in two hours, showing her respect for the website's popularity. Mark then tells her it was 22,000 and her panties pretty much drop. Returning to the year 2003, the next scene in the film introduces the protagonists, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, who are identical twin brothers and members of Harvard's rowing team. The scene then introduces the twin's friend, Divya Narendra. Divya informs the Winklevoss twins about Mark's website and its growing popularity, as well as how Mark came up with the idea while he was drunk. They're coincidentally looking for a talented programmer like Mark for their new business venture. The Winklevoss twins first meet Mark and invite him to their club room. They share with him their idea for a social networking platform exclusively for Harvard students. They tell Mark about it since he's a guru programmer and they need him. They name the project Harvard Connection, and Mark agrees to help them with the project. Fast forward to the year 2008, the Winklevoss twins are suing Mark. It's revealed that Mark had played the Winklevoss twins by frequently canceling meetings and making excuses, all the while leading them to believe that he was working on developing Harvard Connection. In reality, Mark was secretly working on creating Facebook for six weeks. The Winklevoss twins and Divya are angry, accusing Mark of stealing their idea, but Mark says that he never used any of their code, so technically he didn't steal it. LOL. In the year 2004, Mark's programming friend Dustin Moskowitz asks him if the girl he likes is dating anyone. This is when Mark gets the idea to add the important relationship status feature to Facebook. Meanwhile, Divya and the Winklevoss twins discover that Mark has been stealing their idea for Harvard Connection and they become very angry. Once Facebook is officially launched, it immediately becomes popular and spreads rapidly. Everyone at campus is using it, and Mark has all the clout at campus. At this point, Eduardo wants to monetize Facebook by incorporating advertising, but Mark disagrees with this idea. Mark encounters his ex-girlfriend Erica and attempts to talk to her. However, she responds with hostility and publicly insults him in front of others. As a result of this encounter, Mark becomes determined to expand Facebook to other universities, such as Yale, Stanford, and Columbia. The motivation he gets from her. The Winklevoss twins are planning to meet with the professor of Harvard to inform him of Mark's alleged theft of their idea for Harvard Connection. I don't blame them either. When the Winklevoss twins raise their concerns about intellectual property theft to the president of Harvard, he's dismissive and suggests that they move on to a new project instead. He also points out that being on the rowing team does not make them exceptional or entitled to special treatment. 
Eduardo and Mark are conducting business meetings in New York to discuss Facebook, but Mark performs poorly in all of the meetings except for the last one. Eduardo becomes frustrated and notices that Mark is only enthusiastic about the last meeting, which is with entrepreneur Sean Parker. If you guys don't know who Sean Parker is, he's the founder of Napster. You know, the music company. Eduardo is wary of Sean Parker due to his negative reputation, including bankruptcy and being kicked out from a previous company. Sean is your typical wealthy businessman who's always showing up late to meetings. When he arrives, he starts telling the group stories of his past business ventures. Eduardo raises the topic of advertising on Facebook with Sean, who agrees with Mark's side that they have the potential to become a billion dollar company and that they should move to California. This further irritates Eduardo towards Sean. Before leaving, Sean suggests that they drop the from the name and refer to the company simply as Facebook. Up until that point, it was known as The Facebook. During the legal proceedings, Eduardo is questioned about any actions he may have taken that could have potentially jeopardized the company. Eduardo becomes shocked and embarrassed as he recalls a moment from his college frat days where he had to carry a live chicken with him all day. He was responsible for feeding the chicken, so he chose to feed it chicken nuggets. This event led to accusations of animal cruelty against him at Harvard. Mark becomes angry with Eduardo upon learning about this incident. Eduardo also expresses his concerns about Sean Parker as a potential business partner due to his connections with venture capitalists. They continue to argue and Mark demands more money. Eduardo believes the money is needed for additional server space and agrees, but Mark reveals it's actually intended for the move to California. Mark informs Eduardo that he plans to take Sean's advice and relocate to California, where he intends to hire programmers and rent a house. At this point, Facebook has 150,000 daily active users. Eduardo enters a room where a group of students are hacking a program. Mark is overseeing the activity. One of the programmers successfully completes the task and Mark says, welcome to Facebook. Eduardo's role in the plan was to continue working on the internship in New York while the rest of the team moved to California to work on Facebook. I honestly don't know why Eduardo thinks like this. Fast forward to the team's arrival in California, it turns out that Mark and the team have spent the entire summer partying. One of the team members attempts to jump into the pool from the roof, but the zip line snaps. A neighbor comes to investigate the commotion and it turns out to be Sean Parker. Sean discovers that Eduardo's not present and starts to bond with Mark. Mark invites Sean to move in and the two become business partners in private. Pause, that sounded wrong. Sean and Mark also have a serious business discussion at a club where Sean emphasizes the potential of Facebook and suggests that they should expand the website internationally. The scene then shifts to the Winklevoss twins who are competing in a rowing race and losing. They're even more frustrated and angry after the race. They also find out that Facebook is expanding to add to their mood, so they decided to go full force into suing the living out of him in court. Eduardo arrives in California for a visit, drenched. Mark was supposed to pick him up, but he fell asleep after a coding session. Eduardo's upset when he sees Sean there and learns about an upcoming investor meeting that they have scheduled with Peter Thiel. Eduardo speaks privately with Mark and explains that his girlfriend has been giving him trouble, leading him to quit his internship. I mean, his fault for choosing the internship over a million dollar company. The argument between Mark and Eduardo continues. Mark warns Eduardo that if he doesn't get on board with the program, he will be left behind. Eduardo takes revenge by going to the bank to freeze the company's account, effectively stopping all funding, just as Mark and Sean are at the investor meeting with Peter Thiel. The investors initially agree to a half million dollar investment, but during the meeting, Peter Thiel asks about Eduardo before the meeting ends. Mark discovers Eduardo's freezing of the bank account and becomes angry, explaining that it could have caused Facebook to crash. Eduardo justifies his actions, citing the need for revenge due to the issues with his girlfriend. Despite being initially upset, Mark eventually forgives Eduardo for his behavior and informs him that Peter Thiel has agreed to invest $500,000 in the company. He tells Eduardo that they'll be getting an office and everything they need. Mark urgently pleads with Eduardo, emphasizing the need for his CFO. Eduardo breaks up with his crazy girlfriend and takes the first plane back to California. After meeting with Facebook's legal team, Eduardo signs various legal documents. As a result of these agreements, his ownership stake in the company increases to 34.4%. However, it becomes evident during the legal proceedings that he was unaware of the significance of the documents he was signing at the time. Peter was playing this man the whole time. The scene shifts back to present day, where Eduardo is suing Mark. Eduardo expresses that Mark was his only friend and he gets asked by the lawyer if he recalls signing his death certificate. He says no. Eduardo, feeling betrayed, explains that he thought those were his lawyers at first. He also reveals that Mark had mentioned having a party with Peter Thiel once they reached 1 million members. The lawyers then ask Eduardo to describe the moment he was informed of the party. 
He explains that when he arrived at the office, Peter Thiel presented him with more contracts to sign, and he initially thought it was a joke. It was then that Eduardo realized that his shares were the only ones diluted to 0.3%, while everyone else's remained the same. Feeling betrayed, Eduardo storms over to Mark and accuses him of setting him up. He questions if Mark's jealousy over his involvement in the Phoenix Club led to his current predicament. Eduardo also feels that it was Mark who reported the animal cruelty incident, and he is determined to take back control of the entire company. As they celebrate reaching 1 million members, the party is interrupted when it's revealed that Sean has been arrested for being with an underage intern. Mark is furious and no longer trusts Sean. Marilyn, the junior lawyer, informs Mark that due to his attitude, he will have to pay a settlement agreement and that the amount will be higher than initially anticipated. The scene concludes with Mark sending a Facebook friend request to Erica Albright, his ex, on the Facebook platform. The Winklevoss twins got a bag worth $65 million. The amount that Eduardo was paid out is still unknown. Facebook is now worth $350 billion. This is the story of how Mark Zuckerberg became the youngest billionaire ever. This is the story of the cutthroat nature of the tech industry and the sacrifices made for success. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to watch more videos.